All right, blotting techniques is all about texture and lifting. So the first one here was pigment lifted from a moist wash with a damp flat brush. I'm just going to go on to the dry surface. And I'm going to put a wash in. Let me get a little more water. Put a wash in. I'm going to let it dry just briefly while I do the second one. All right, so now we do the second one here, near dry wash. So I've got to let that dry. So I'm going to put in a new color. And while this is drying, while I, before I do that, I'm going to take a brush, a clean brush, and I'm just going to lift. So I took a little bit of water off. I'm just lifting color out. Clean off the brush again and just lift the color out. Almost back down to the white paper. Near dry wash, okay. Take some green. A little more color in there so I can lift it out again. It's the same process, but the, the wash is going to be more dry than this one. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. Over here, any series of washes that I put in, more like a modeled wash. Put in a modeled wash of a couple different colors. This is a crumpled paper towel, so it's got to be with some water. If I take a crumpled paper towel, crumple it up, and come up with an interesting texture. get some somewhat random effects there. This one, I'm going to do a clouds. I'm going to try to recreate clouds. And I'm going to use a regular tissue with this. So I'm going to put in a blue wash. And I'm also going to do that blue wash really light. So I'm putting in it wet and wet. So I put some clean water down. It's okay that has a little bit of blue in it. Take my tissue, and draw some cloud shapes. With the tissue. See how you can get some really interesting cloud shapes. I press harder to get a little bit more of the paint off. You can see how it creates some interest in terms of how clouds look. So that's the clouds with the tissue. Next one here we're going to do, this is going to be a wash first that I want to let dry and then I'm going to lift a darker overlapped wash with the sponge. So I'm going to use that blue again. I'm going to put a wash down and I'm going to let it dry a little more. I'm on a dry surface. That's going to help it to dry a little quicker. So once that's dry, I'm going to do the dry overlap with a darker color, and then I'm going to then come back in with the sponge. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. Damp surface wash blotted with a paper towel. So damp surface. Now the surface of the paper doesn't have to be damp. The wash itself can create the dampness. I'm going to darken the wash a little bit, so I'm just going to grab some black. I'll take one of my paper towel scraps, and the paper towel itself has some texture, so I'm going to use the more textured side. I'm going to lay that right down on top of it, and lift it off, and you can see how it creates that interesting pattern based on what I see on the paper towel. There's those little circles in there. Varied wash, pretty much the same thing. You're dealing with a couple different colors in the wash. 
dry surface again. I'll use my paper towel. Maybe I want to crumple it a little bit and get some similar effects to the tissue. All right. Now that this is more dry for the sponge, I'm going to take a dark wash again. A little bit of mixture of black. And while that's wet, I'm going to take a damp sponge and I'm going to lift, create a texture with the sponge. Turn the sponge, bend it a little bit, create an interesting texture. So some of that blue ends up showing through. And the last one here is alcohol. And an alcohol wash, you could do a variety of colors too, but again, the pigment needs to be fairly strong. So I'm going in on a dry surface with a good amount of pigment. I'm also going to do multi-layered. It says multi-layered with a damp brush and lifted with a tissue. Instead of the tissue, I'm going to do two things here. One is alcohol. And in these bottles, I have the alcohol. And if I just put the alcohol on there with a drop, you'll see what happens as the alcohol goes on. It starts to spread couple drops there. And if I take a Q-tip, I can do impressed textures, lifting things out with the Q-tip. I can curve things, create movement, a little more control. And that now gives me the blotting techniques. The last one here near dry wash, that's nearly dry. I'm going to wet it. Get a clean brush, clean water, and I'm going to paint over an area here. And it's similar to the technique that we did here, but I want to lift that out. So I'm going to take my tissue again, and where I wet it, lifts it almost all the way out like an eraser. And you can see how you get the similarities, but I still end up with a little bit of that green underneath that I had before. And that gives us those interesting blotting techniques. Created clouds, got sponge texture, alcohol texture, varied textures, paper towels, moist washes blotted with a paper towel. And that gives you the last of the four techniques.